One board member abstained, but of the eight who voted, it was unanimous. The widow is responsible for paying back the money with interest. The widow of a Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputy says the day her husband died was her worst nightmare. Jenna Alamon told the Milwaukee County Pension Board her second nightmare came the day she found out the county overcalculated the amount of money she was getting and was told she had to pay it back. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong and this is wrong on so many levels. She pleaded with the board not to hold her responsible, her children by her side. Her husband, Deputy Sheriff Sergio Alamon, died on duty in a car accident in 2012. What for you? was the importance of being here today with your friends and family. I, I felt like I had to do this for my husband. Alamon's attorney, Chris McGillis, said the former pension chief knew about the heir three years before they notified Alamon. He told the board their actions are disgusting. This was something that my client had no part in. She didn't create the problem, but she's being asked to shoulder the entire burden of their error. Aliman has to pay back more than $140,000, plus about $23,000 in interest. This should not have happened. I, I based my life on what they told me. The pension board declined to comment today, but we received this statement from the director of retirement plan services from Milwaukee County. It says in part, it's incredibly difficult when retirees and their family members are caught in the effects from previous heirs, but a substantial, well-governed system will mean fewer retirees being affected in the future. Aliman says she will have to sell her home in order to pay the money back. Her and her attorney plan to appeal. Reporting from the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4.